Hello, I'm Ainsley Pete. I'm the head of e-commerce at Cox & Cox. Cox & Cox are a homeware retailer located in Froome, Somerset, selling of furniture items, lighting, rugs and many other household products. At Cox & Cox we were on Magento One and essentially as a business we'd outgrown Magento One. We were using Magento One as an ERP, a WMS and also an e-commerce platform. And the business to able to stabilise its growth for 20% growth year on year had to come to a decision to advance our technology. So it was a very simple decision really to upgrade from Magento 1 to Magento 2. But also at the same time, we upgraded to a NetSuite ERP system and a Wear Systems WMS. So it was a very intensive project that we completed over a 12 month process. Our journey of upgrading essentially was a 12 month long process involving many stakeholders in the business from the merchandising team, warehouse team, operations team, and obviously the e-commerce team. Essentially, we started the build in uh, January time, ahead of an uh, August go-live, ahead of our peak season. And to make this project even more complex, all systems had to go live at the same time and on the same date. The lessons learned on this project would be essentially try not to avoid so many technologies going once at the same time. But obviously, sometimes you can't avoid that bing bang approach. So for us, really, to stabilise our growth is 20% year on year. We had to do all these technologies at the same time. And effectively, on the back of that, we were able to grow as a business. And now we're in a stronger position. It's easy for us to roll out new technologies and new features onto the Cox & Cox website and technologies. Post upgrade, we're seeing excellent results in terms of online revenue. We're growing 20% on the first year. And on the second year, we're actually achieving a 30% year on year growth. Um, average sessions in terms of the number of visitors is increasing 50, 60, 70% at times. So we're seeing a lot of uplift in terms of customers and customers sticking around on the Cox & Cox website and placing their orders. In terms of MarTech, we're seeing a lot more customers come to the Cox & Cox website via a mobile device. And we've seen an uplift from 45% to now just under 60%. And we're seeing excellent positive swings in terms of online revenue. In fact, for mobile this year to date, we're seeing an uplift of 80% in terms of mobile revenue and a 10% in terms of mobile conversion rate. Bearing in mind we're adding 70% more customers, this is a great metric for us. In terms of eyeballs in marketing, we do a lot of uh, agency work, outside agencies. We do a lot of SEO paid search, a social media, so we have over 190,000 Instagram followers, 100 Facebook followers, and all these channels are adding around 50%, 60% more traffic to the website, and really encouragingly, 70% new customers coming to the Cox & Cox website. We're seeing an uplift of 20%, 30% in terms of revenue, and we are seeing a good kind of bounce rate reduction, so customers are sticking around to the Cox & Cox website, so long may this trend continue. In terms of uh, some of the metrics overlooked today, bounce rate, we find a lot of uh, agencies are keen to promote all the uh, visitors they attract to your website, but then we need the customers to stick around, not exit on their first page. So I think it's a metric that we're always on top of really. If we're investing in SEO or paid search, are the customers actually viewing the products and more importantly, are they converting? For Cox & Cox, returns is always a challenge. Uh, we're currently around eight, nine percent in terms of returns. Obviously, it's something we always like to try to keep on top of. We use Trustpilot as a review platform, and we're always looking to hear what our customers have to say about our products. And also, we have an online returns portal where customers can submit their information about why they're wanting return items. So we're very much into these metrics. This year, we um, integrated a new search provider, Clevu, and we're seeing a, a high level of conversion rate from site search. A customer who comes via site search is four times more likely to convert. When we run promotions, we can see a, a conversion rate based on AI on search of 10, even up to 15%. So AI is very much part of our site search. We also do a lot of personalization with Nosto. So we're investing in terms of on-site recommendations at product pages, product listing pages, also in the cart. So it's just an area we're keen to A-B test as we move forward, really. So now we're selling Christmas products. So we're doing some personalization about gift wraps and gift tagging. In terms of AR, I'm looking at a new AR solution to potentially do 3D modeling for our sofas and beds. I've not got a finalized contract, but I think it's something I'm very much keen to invest in and go live in 2020. I think a key takeaway really is find technology partners who can grow with you and find technology partners that you can trust. Over time, you should look to build a long lasting relationship, then you only see the benefits of that. Internally, try to get stakeholders involvement in technology, technology upgrades, and I think you'll see the benefits. My final advice is really just go for it and test as many technologies as you can. You'll find the best technologies over time.